All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript shopping list. So now we're going to create a shopping list in the variable my list. This list should be a multidimensional array container, pardon me, containing several subarrays. The first element in each subarray should contain a string with the name of the item. The second element should be a number representing the quantity, i.e. chocolate bar 15. That's a lot of chocolate bars. Anyway, but it'll be anyway. Uh, there should be at least five subarrays in our list. OK, so first things first, let's just take this right here so we don't got to do too much work. And let's drop this off mm, one time. And then after this, let's put a comma like that. And then let's take this whole thing, copy it. Of course, the whole thing inside the array, copy it. And then after the comma, one, two, three, four, like that. Let's take this uh, last comma out of there because it won't work if it's there. And let's change these up just a little bit for variety's sake. So chocolate bar, we'll change this to, not that, we'll change this to vanilla bar. And let's say 25. And then how about this one? We'll say caramel bar. And this one will say 35. And this one will say uh, sugar bar. I don't even know if that's a thing. We'll say, uh, I don't know, 65. How about that? And then right here, we'll say uh, nougat bar. And we'll call this 45. I'm going to call this toffee bar. Toffee bar. There we go. That makes more sense. Uh, let's do a console.log after this. Say console.log my list and you see right here we've got a list just like that so let's run the test looks good and submit it all right now we're on to write reusable javascript with functions and we'll see you next time